Oh, it was just a quick one about, sorry, we'll get back to this, but I met your buddy last night, Craig, he's buddies with Talkit, and he said I had to ask you, did you catch a rattlesnake and then drive home with it in your car holding it the whole time? <laughs> yep. Yeah, so I have a couple, of, I had like three or four rattlesnake stories from, from uh, Whisper. He goes, Rock. he carried it while driving with one hand, he was holding it with the other hand the whole time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so the first one I had, I was playing a big money match, and I was on the 13th hole, and I'm down, I, I think I'm down like 2,500 bucks. And uh, I have a double press going to par five, 10, 11, 12, 12 par five going up the hill at the upper Whisper Rock. And I'm just, I'm like, I'm, I'm flailing, right? I'm just not in my zone and I need to win this hole. And we're walking up the fairway and I'm way behind because I'm, um, I had to get something to eat or went to the bathroom. And there's this rattlesnake that was coming across the fairway and I was playing against a couple guys then and, and I picked the rattlesnake up on the fairway and I started running towards the guy I was playing and he turned around and saw me and he saw I had the snake in my hand and the look of death came over his face. And if you ever would have seen a 275 pound guy do like the 50 yard dash in 3.2 seconds and he's screaming, he's screaming like a bitch. I, you know, get away from me! And literally, I chased him up the fairway. He gets to his next shot, and he's literally, he, he's shaking. He can't even move. And I win the next three or four holes and, <laughs> and end up catching up because I chased him with a snake. He was so flustered, he couldn't even play with himself. Send them the Vemeral request. <laughs> and, and then the one I was actually walking out to my car, and the rattlesnake was in the parking lot. So, again, I pick it up and it wraps around my arm and I have it, have them right tucked in. And, and I, I only live like two miles from the course. And, um, I said, I wanted to scare my wife with it. So I drove home. So I'm holding the snake and I'm driving home and I go into my, into my house with the snake and uh, my wife's making the bed. And I said, honey, I brought someone home. I brought a friend home for lunch. I hope you don't mind. And I put the snake right next to her. And if you ever seen someone jump and clamp her nails and feet into the ceiling and she, I I had to sleep in the, I had to sleep in the guest room for two nights. She was so (laughs) mad at me. My last story is like, you you guys, you guys know Whisper Rock when you come out of the, out of the men's grill, there's a little walkway to the parking lot. Well, as I came out, there was a big bull snake, like a, massive bull snake. Now they're not poisonous. They're just big. And I picked up the bull snake and I brought it into the men's grill. And Vinny Del Negro was having breakfast by himself. He was sitting at the table and I went behind him and I let the snake come. I put it on his shoulder and the snake crawled up right here while he was eating breakfast. And he jumped the whole table, the whole breakfast flew over and he ran into the men's locker room. And again, with a screech that you would never forget that came out of a grown man's mouth. And I thought he was going to have a total heart attack. 